Bella. Welcome to Bella Uncinetto and day one of my birthday celebration. Today is March 15th and it is a special day because it is my pop's birthday and he is very special to me. He's passed, but even though he's no longer here, he is still special to me. So today's video is going to be in honor of him. There will be some things that I'm going to go over as far as uh, the birthday um, rules and all of that and everything will be linked down below or written down below whatever as well but uh, I just wanted to get this party started because I'm so excited uh, so just to get all of the stuff out of the way in the beginning um, this is going to be a seven day giveaway so you will be able to enter once every day uh, and every day there will be a different word and as long as you have that word in your comment, don't just put that word, right? It needs to be in a comment. Um, then you will be entered. So you will have seven chances to win. I'm not going to show you what you're going to win yet. I'm going to wait uh, until another video and show that. Uh, but there is the opportunity for three winners. And then um, if I get 500 family members by my birthday, which is in one week, uh, then I'll double it to six winners, right? I announced that already. So, uh, why is this so important to me, right? Well, uh, I've been through some things like a lot of us have, uh, and I was told that I would not see my next birthday. Uh, and I beat that challenge and I have seen, uh, several birthdays since then. So I am very, very honored for every day that I have, and I'm very grateful for every day that I get to see the sunrise and get to see my children smile uh, and all of those wonderful things. And now I'm glad that I'm here with you all. So today we're going to be talking about my pop. Uh, it is my dad's dad. Um, my mom's dad passed when I was three. Uh, so I do have memories of him. I have some very fond memories of him, um, some very silly memories of him. But he did not have as big of an impact on my life uh, because he was gone when I was really young. Uh, but that being said, uh, both sides, right, uh, were Italian, are Italian. So, uh, you know, I have, I have that on both sides. But I learned about a lot of my Italian heritage from my dad's side of the family. Um, as far as, you know, how they did things in their village in Italy and, and all of that. I didn't learn as much uh from my mom's side of the family, just because there weren't as many people to teach me. So not a bad thing. I do know some things, just not as much. So, um, my pop was a knife grinder. That's what he did. He apprenticed in Germany, uh, to be a knife sharpener. And when he came to America, um, after he had gone back to Germany, um, as a youth to, um, apprentice. He started his own, um, knife sharpening business. Uh, he was in world war two. So he was a world war two veteran. He served in Germany, um, for several, uh, three years, if I'm correct, um, towards the end of the war. So, um, there were some things that he definitely saw that when he came back, uh, and as I got older, we, we did talk about, but he also taught me how to plant. He taught me how to grow things. He taught me how to appreciate every little bud, every little drop of rain. Uh, and he was really good at growing things. Uh, amazingly good at growing things. And he could take, he lived in a suburb, I would say it wasn't really a city, but it was a suburb in, in New Jersey, but he had a big corner lot and he turned that area into heaven. I mean, he had so many plants growing and not just like edible things, not like, like tomatoes or, or herbs, they have flowers. Um, he was competitive in rose growing, uh, and actually, um, created a different variety of rose and he, 
I just, I'm in awe of him still to this day. He, he had his faults. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, I mean, every person does their human, but he was amazing to me. And I don't know if you can tell, but I loved him with all my heart and I still do. So, um, in honor of him, right. I have on one of his shirts. Yes. This is one of my pop shirts. Um, this is from the San Francisco, um, historic trolley festival. I was born in, um, well, right outside of San Francisco, uh, but my family lived in San Francisco when my dad was in the military and, um, that's where I was born. So when they came, uh, they spent some time and got some swag, I guess, from San Francisco. Um, and this was, this was one of the shirts. So this shirt is probably as old as I am, if not a little bit older. I don't know how long it was hanging there before he got it, uh, but definitely something to be excited about. So, uh, another thing about my pop, right? Um, my logo is dedicated to him. Um, I will pop a picture up here and I've discussed it before. I'll put my logo reveal video, um, in the description box below. But, um, I do have my cup here that was made by a friend of mine that has my logo on it, right? Um, and of course you see the roses and the rain and the Italian here for beautiful crochet. Um, and it's in blue, uh, one, because blue is my favorite color and two, because, um, blue roses have a very sentimental meaning. Um, that was not the species or the variety of rose that he, um, did, but it, it does have special meaning and I'm grateful for the time that I got to spend with him and the time that, um, I got to learn with him. Um, he also was a big coin collector and stamp collector. So I have, um, I guess taken that on in collecting yarn. <laughs> um, but when I would go visit every summer, I would help him with his coins. I would help him um, you know, we had those gloves that we had to wear because you couldn't get any oil on the money. No oils from your hands could touch the money. So we had special gloves that we had to wear, um, and special ways that we handled the money and we put it in special cases so that it would be, um, protected, labeled everything, inventoried everything, right? And that may not seem fun to some of you, but it was spending time with my pop and that's what I cared about. So, uh, in honor of him, I won't go on too long. Today's word is Rosa, right? In Italian, uh, for rose. And you could put the Italian word, uh, Rosa, which I will have on the screen, or you can use the English rose. And I, um, will be doing this a little differently. I won't be using the random comment picker because, right? You can do it in English or in Italian every day. So those words will be there. Um, and so I will be looking through the comments and writing everything down and putting it in a bucket to pick out the winners. Um, you get one chance per day, so you can comment whatever, but only one comment per person per day will go in the bucket and you must be 18 years or old, 18 years old or older. This giveaway is not sponsored by anybody, but me, um, I have had a couple of people donate some things, which we'll get into. Um, but as far as sponsoring it, it's just me I, and, uh, what else? Um, please remember to follow the YouTube guidelines and yeah, one entry per day. We're going for seven days. There'll be a keyword every day in English slash Italian. Um, and it'll just be something a little different about me every single day in my life, my family, um, and some joy from my life. I hope I get to share it with you. So thank you so much for your time and attention. I appreciate you so much. Be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, Bella.